Hello, my name is Delroy Young, and I'm your local representative. I'm one of your local representatives for the local teller, and I'm sent out here just to make a video real quick to tell you what the local teller is all about. So basically what we're trying to accomplish is when people are looking for information, whether they're trying to find a business or a product or any services locally, anything locally, anything to buy, any person to do business with, any information that would be that would be and can be local, they can find it in the local teller. In that case, then the local teller is a search engine that provides people with this information, anything that they're looking for locally. You can also consider the local teller as a local magazine, an electronic magazine, where people can set up their pages and uh, pretty much get mm -hmm. support. It's very, very effective in terms of connecting with the, with the local public and showing them what you do and what you have. One of the things that separates the local teller from companies like Google is that you could be in your local area and you're searching for something and the, the, the product that you're searching for are the services right there but you didn't find it in, in Google because Google only shows what Google shows. We show the public everything. That is why we are the local tenant. That means if you're a person who owns like, say a department store or you're selling uh, merchandise, what we do when we set up your services are we take a list of the things that you sell all your inventory and we upload that to the local teller system and we create an app for you so that you can go back and edit these things edit these products whether you want to change the price on anything or you want to remove something or whatever you want to do you'll be able to do it there you're not here in the local teller so if you, you know, are selling things, you're selling items, like say, for instance, you're selling auto parts. For instance, and somebody wants an alternator to buy. Nobody's going to order an alternator online and wait for four or five days for it to get to them. Because it's, a, it's now the vehicle is rendered undrivable. You're going to want to buy an alternator right away. You could have an alternator selling for much less than it is sold at AutoZone. Or, or discount other parts. But well, how is the people, how is the customer gonna know this? And this is why we upload your database. Uh, an auto company, an auto, auto parts company, an auto parts sales normally carry about 33,000 parts, which is a long list. We have a method that we use to upload every part into the local teller so that they can find it and again provide you with an app where you can go and edit the prices of, of anything there is very it's, a, it's as simple as that a lot of people try to advertise their own business just advertise their thing they sell and i can tell you this that you're barking at the wrong tree because you're not going to succeed in advertising things if we fail to advertise things and we fail quite a bit we have successes but we have failures too and it is from our failures that we learn one thing I see a lot of people try to do is like they try to send out blast without having no idea what the servers were how many emails you can send out like per domain and how all of that work well i'm a person with a computer programming background so i know the back end of thing that what works and what doesn't work and i can tell you that a lot of the times when you send out information it doesn't get there your customer does not get it 
plain and simple. So don't feel discouraged about nobody is coming out to support your business. Nobody knows that the business is there because the message that you send them, they haven't get it. If nobody knows about your business, it does not exist. That is what we said first when we started creating the local tent. If nobody knows about your business, your business does not exist. The second thing I want to say to you is that if somebody is offering you something for free, then they all, they're, all they're trying to do is to make your business irrelevant. If they're offering you free advertising, then you make your bet, then making your business irrelevant. The local teller is not free. We charge to set up anything for you, but at least we're letting you know that straight up that there will be a cost and that we will be working to make sure that your services work. So if you sell products and if you offer services, you know, you can just go ahead and listen, follow the instructions below and see, you know, what you want to listen. If you're a business, let's say for instance, you're a plumber or a restaurant, you're a business, then what you do not want to do, you do not want to just go and set up a local tele page. You want to create a MoPass for your business, which is an account, which means that we'll be able to charge you a certain amount a month, whether that amount is $49, $89. I don't know what the, the, the fee is going to be. It all depends on what you're trying to do, but all that information will be there when you follow the link. One of the most powerful things about having a MoPass is that it creates for you a what I would call a customer base, which is very important. You do not want to have your business as a prostitute where people just run in and run out. You want to secure your customers, make sure you have them, make sure that they come back. And one of the main way to do that is through having their information. When somebody saves your referral card or your MoPass card, that information is saved inside of your database. So whether you have 100 customers save it or, or 500 or whatever you, the amount that you have, all of these people are inside of your database. Now, whenever time you move your business, you know, as moving around is going to become very essential now because the, the, the price of real estate has gone up so much that uh, people can't even afford rent. So people will be moving around. Whenever time you move, you'll be able to notify all your customers through your MoPass. You'll be able to update the information. Everybody will see. So your MoPass helps you to to, to gain a customer base in the first place through its referral card. And it also helps you to communicate with these customers and to show them what is going on with your, with, within your business. Very, very powerful. So if you need more information about anything, you can call me at the number listed here and I'll be happy to talk to you, to guide you and to what is important and what you need to do. Advertising is very hard. And this is why you should not try to do your own advertising, except you really know what you're doing. Well, I've been doing it for 30 years. So I know all the niches and crooks. I know things that you can advertise on the radio, things that doesn't make sense to advertise on the radio, things that you can advertise in a blast and things that doesn't make sense to 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 exercise in a blast things that you need to just have in a search engine for when the people come that they can find it because one of the things that people hate is proactive advertising proactive advertising the turn off potential customers what the people need to know is that there is a place where they can go and find all this information when they need it. And that is why the local teller is a search engine first. 
I don't know what else to say to you. Any link that's uh, expected is going to be in here. It is not free, the local tell, because if it's free, it cannot be a business. And anybody who offer you free service is because they want to put you out of business. They want to make you irrelevant. Ask how Facebook makes so many billions of dollars. If you can go on Facebook and put something on there for free. That is because, as I had said before, they want to make you irrelevant. So when people want to make you irrelevant, then they offer you things for free. But just as your business and your services are at a cost to your customers, then so use your advertising. For business who takes over successful amalgamation like Walmart, Macy's, Sears, Burdines and all those businesses out there that is so popular, you see them in every city. They have a principle, and it's a one-third principle. One-third of their profit goes towards advertising. One-third of their profits go towards advertising, so because they are almost and always making advertising, doing advertising, then they're, they're broadening their business. That kind of advertising is called amalgamation. It's amalgamative advertising. And through amalgamative advertising, you grow revenue, you expand your business to the public, and you sp you're able to spread out, not just in your area, but all over the world. Uh, in the future, and it is getting more so than ever, only big businesses are going to be surviving because small businesses are going to disappear. For a long time, they had stopped lending money to small business for all small business projects. If you make $250,000 a year, then some places you might be able to get $250,000 to borrow. But they are not going past what you earn. That is if you get it at all. Nowadays you have um, interest rate lower. The whole financial market is changing. Digital currency is now on, 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 on its way. The US dollar has been devalued. You know, so how are you going to survive as a small business if you don't have your customers in place? If you don't understand the financial market and what is happening in your business. Because think about it, how the tech companies are going to be, te be taking over the, the small business industry. They already started doing that. You saw Uber and you saw those companies annihilating a whole business sector, whereas no. Uber controls pretty much a large part of the transportation industry. So all the taxi services, they was out of business for a while because now the prices of Uber went up. And that is how they're going to come in. You have a company what they call Home Improvement where they want to do all your handyman work all around the house. And the way the amalgamation work is that they lower their prices first and they get your customers and then when you are out of business then they jack their prices up but that is how all of them do business so understand when you're doing business especially in america understand how the system work and what you're doing when you're doing business because there's only two type of people in the world only two types of people in the world two type those who know what they're doing and those who don't know what they're doing. Those who don't know what they're doing are those who don't know what they're doing because you don't have any information. You don't understand what is going on in the business industry. And that is a formula for failure. We're here to teach you. We're here to groom you. We're here to show you the way. We're here to make your business succeed. So get your local teller page and come on, let's go ahead and do business. Thanks a lot. My name is Del Roya. Look for a link below.